Yeah, sure. Um, so my name's Liam Salter. I'm the technical evangelist. So part of my role is to talk about the technical side of the engine. So we are giving talks on augmented reality. So that's kind of my main area. Um, some virtual reality and then some stuff on ECS, which is our new entity component system. Um, and my name's Kieran, and I'm, an, I'm kind of an art version of Liam. Um, so instead of doing the programming side, I'm the person that does all the graphics, and the visuals, um, and the asset creation, like 3D models, 3D characters, textures, all of that. So, you know, it's a good balance between like programmy, techy, compared to um, arty, techy. So, oh, okay. um, yeah, so we're a good balance. Yeah, okay, so I'll translate it for them. Okay, because if you understand or not, the guy on the side of the side is the guy on the side of the side, he's the guy on the side, the programmer, and on the side of the side, he's the guy on the side of the side, so they work together in the side, he's the guy on the side of the side, and what they need, and he's the guy on the side. They work on the side of the side, right? Yes, he said they work on the virtual reality, right? אולי נבקש מהם אחר כך להראות לנו ככה כמה דברים שהם עושים, זה גם מעניין. אוקיי, יפה. טוב, אז אני רואה שכבר הגיעו הרבה תלמידים, אז אפשר בעצם להתחיל ככה... אז מי רוצה להתחיל ראשון? Who want to be the first one? Yes, יונתן? אוקיי. אתה יכול להתחיל, אני אתן לך שיתוף. אוקיי, so we are starting now, יונתן will start. יונתן, רק תגיד בן כמה אתה? אני בן 11. 11, אוקיי. So יונתן will start. יונתן is 11 years old. Oh, וואו. This is my project and you can see here is the clock and here is the time you have. You have a 50 minutes um, to, to take all the coins and the, all the coins is a random uh, points you need to get and this is what you get. And now, and if you see um, that uh, blue things um, run, is want to kill me, mm -hmm. and I need to uh, go from him and uh, make them don't touch me. And if he, and if uh, he touch me, mm -hmm. so I will die. And this is what I have. I get um, forty thousand and eighteen hundred. Mm -hmm. uh, coins and if and if I uh, push try again so I can see him again and I have that I can I can boom I can shoot him and it, and it will explode The enemy is the blue uh, circle, the blue balls, yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, great. Well, well done. That's really, really good. Yeah, um, nice work. Yeah, really nice work. Um, so, some advice that I would give to you straight away. Um, really good mechanics, really good um, all of that. Your images for your clock and your, um, your money bag. Um, so, it looks like you're using a JPEG. Uh, which means that you have that like uh, white outer border on your icons. So the best thing for you to do is to maybe replace them with, with what's called a PNG, which allows you to have a um, transparent background. So it allows you to not have that white border that you can see along the side on the, of your user interface. Um, if you were to replace those, then it would um, remove that white border. Um, and um, other than that, like, I reckon you could add a little bit of lighting as well. So right now you're using the procedural sky, which is in the Unity um, editor by default. Um, what might be cool is if you could um, change the aesthetic or the, uh, the look of it a little bit, um, and maybe uh, change the sky colors, maybe uh, change the uh, lower gray um, area of your, your procedural sky. 
Um, and you can kind of go, you know, and make it an aesthetic, maybe even adding some like trees um, or something to kind of get in the way. Because it looks like that your main character is a monkey. Um, so you could go with that and have maybe like a green sky that fades from like light green to dark green to like uh, a really dark green. And then maybe have some obstacle uh, obstacles in the way and like stuff that you can jump onto to go get those coins. Um, I think that was great. Yeah, I mean, the, the fact that you've created this game at 11 years old, yeah. very impressive. It's very impressive. Um, yeah, how did you get started with, um, with the programming side? What? How did you get started with programming in Unity? So how did you start programming? I was interested. Ah, okay. So what, how did you start? Like, did you follow any tutorials or documentation? Um, or did you just kind of learn from, uh, you know, trial and error? שואל בעצם איך התחלת לתכנת, האם ראית מדריכים או הסתכלת בכל מיני מקומות, או שבעצם התחלת בקורס שלנו? התחלתי בקורס שלכם, אבל התעניינתי מכל מיני משחקים ורציתי ליצור גם. אוקיי, הוא היה מאוד מעניין בפרוגרמינג גיימס, אבל כל הפרוגרמינג שאתה יודע, הוא לומד במיי קורס. Before that, wow. he didn't know uh, programming. Wow. That's pretty good course. <laughs> yeah. They start, in my course, they started to program in uh, C-sharp. For beginners, they start with the integers and everything, and uh, then we advanced to loops and arrays and everything. But uh, all the pupils came uh, without uh, any previous breakout. Most yeah. of them. Yeah. Wow. Really okay. good job. Very good job. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. So I will translate what uh, you said about the games. בעצם יונתן, מה שהוא אומר לך, uh, בעיקר דברים של עיצוב. הוא אמר שאת הרקע הלבן, uh, לעשות פשוט תמונות כן, של... כן, לעשות יותר ש... ערים ועצים. כן, ולהוסיף עצים, כל מיני דברים שקשורים לקוף. Uh, אז בעיקר דברים של עיצוב, סך הכל. אבל יפה מאוד, באמת הם התלהבו מהמשחק. Uh, and I will say another thing, the monkey, uh, uh, it, he created it with a blender. Okay, they teach to, they study to... Uh, create all the, all the charter in Blender, and then they import it, export it to uh, Unity. Amazing. Wow. wow. Amazing. Great. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so he made this on his own? Yeah, he made it uh, with uh, Blender. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Wow, good job. Yeah, good, very good job. Thanks. <laughs> okay, to die, Jonathan. They want to be the second one. Okay. אוקיי, okay, מי רוצה להיות השני שיציג לנו? ואפשר גם להציג יותר ממשחק אחד, אין שום בעיה. אורי, אוקיי, okay, אורי, אתה יכול לעשות שיתוף. אורי, how old are you? I'm 15. the final game it's just like this the core core mechanics so this is basically an online game oh, I'll just stop this one. um so i actually had a few problems that you know i thought that were best asked uh, some people from unity because they understand this uh, these things the best so Basically, there is this player right here. Uh, just some kind of simple prototype. And now the, the player controls are basically, you know, just uh, the arrow keys and uh, the mouse to look around. And because it's online, so I had to do all the syncing. And as you can see, there's this network transform and network identity and all that stuff. And to look up and down, I actually used, move, uh, rotated the camera so that I could look up and down. And I watched a video that said that there is a component that will actually let you sync a child, use basically a transform, 
uh, network identity, no, uh, sorry, uh, network transform on a child, but having the component on the parent object. Okay, now this is a pretty old video, like from two to three years ago. Yes. Ori, and, Ori, Ori, I have to stop you because in uh, this, uh, the new version of Unity, all the network transform network identity is uh, depracted. Uh, yeah, correct me. We, we can't use any anymore the network transform in the new Unity. Yes? You know about uh, this? Oh, sorry, I, I wasn't sure if you asked yeah. the student. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, so we're releasing a new networking layer. Um, I mean, we'll still have access to the old unit. Um, you know, we can't like rip that out. Um, so old games or any game that uses UNet will still function as long as you're still using you know, dedicated service for it. We won't host those servers anymore. Um, but yeah, we will have a new network like come out soon. We've also got uh, something called the FPS sample project. Uh, I don't know if you've seen that, but it's essentially an entire FPS game with all the assets, all the, the net code, all written out for you. Um, so you can literally just sort of dive and just see how that system's pieced together. Yeah, like that's definitely something that you should look at. Um, if you're looking into networking, um, uh, use the FPS sample as a way of being able to see how uh, we done it. Um, so you can download it for free on GitHub. Just type in um, online Unity FPS sample, and you can download the entire project for free, um, and you'll have um, materials, textures, assets, models, lighting, as well as the whole networking and hosting of uh, you know uh, games and matches. Um, so if you're wanting to look at networking specifically, like Liam said, I would advise that you have a little look at that. Um, yeah. Um, okay. So yeah. Um, I mean, the, your setup here looks good. Um, when you mention syncing children, um, there'll still need to be network identities, as probably tell by the video. Um, for things like cameras, you don't need to sync those, just because that's going to be client side. Maybe if you wanted to like call information from the user, then you need to network it. But um, because of how expensive networking can be, um, just performance-wise, it's always good to cut out anything that the user doesn't need to send to the network. Okay, wait, so I have actually a question about this. So the reason the camera needs to rotate up and down is because in the camera there's the, the gun. And I can't have the player rotate up and down because it'll mess up the movement. And so I basically had to put this network identity and the network transform on the camera, but it doesn't sync it, the, the gun. So do I need to put the the network identity and network transform on the gun, and this is actually an empty game object with uh, three parts in it, or have I got any other way of doing this? Um, I would detach, so if you still want to bind the gun and the camera together, you can do, but have a script that copies the values over from the camera to the gun, because then they don't need to be children of each other. So at least then you're not sending unnecessary information. Um, for your gun, yeah, you'll need the network identity on that, but um, that should encapsulate your children. The reason you'd want that separate to the player on its own is so you can still address the gun as its individual, you know, as itself, rather than the entire player. So I should put it on the gun? Yeah. Okay, and uh, just another question, uh, doesn't have to do anything with this. I saw that there are a couple of like, what's called the render pipelines mm -hmm. in uh, Unity, and I didn't really understand what each one basically does and what, what, I, what it actually matters, like which one you choose. Could you like explain that? Yeah, of course. So, um, so the basis of the render pipelines is called the scriptable render pipeline, so SRP. Um, and this is a brand new API that allows you to customize your own graphics um, and you know uh, output uh, you know, Unity will uh, output graphics according to what you want rather than what we provide. So there are three main pipelines now. Um, one is called Lightweight, one is called just built-in, so what you're using right now, and then the other one is called the High Definition Render Pipeline, so HDRP. So Lightweight, if you were to think of it as like three levels, Lightweight is down the bottom, Standard Unity, what you're using is in the middle, and High Definition Render Pipeline is at the top. 
Um, so lightweight is good for AR development, VR development, so stuff that um, needs to run on uh, devices that are not capable of running in text graphics. So if you're looking for a particular um, game to be optimal on, let's say, mobile, then you'd want to go down lightweight route. Um, if you're building for just you know uh, a PC, then I would just stick to uh, what you're using built in. And then if you're wanting to achieve um, high intensity graphics, so you know uh, realistic reflections, uh, what's called subsurface scattering, so light being able to penetrate through objects, um, then you'd want to go into the high definition render pipeline route. Um, it's definitely worth looking at the differences between the three. Um, just know that what you're doing right now is good um, and what you're sticking to is good um, because you're wanting to kind of get those mechanics done first um, and then focus on, you know, uh, graphics later. So you can upgrade your project to HDRP or high definition render pipeline if you're wanting to achieve those like realistic graphics basically. Um, so we, what I advise you to do is look at some of the projects that we have made in HDRP. So the first person sample project that we mentioned earlier, and we also released some cinematics as well, such uh, called the Book of the Dead, um, the Heretic and Adam. They're all, oh, sorry, Adam is in, uh, Book of the Dead and the Heretic is um, on the high definition from pipeline, and that shows you what you can achieve using that. Um, and the way you access them is you uh, go through what's called Unity Hub, which is a separate application that we introduced earlier last year. Um, so instead of going onto um, your laptop and typing in Unity and seeing like, a load of different Unity versions, uh, Unity Hub basically allows you to um, have them all in one uh, program and accessible through one space. Um, and that's where you can actually create a new project using those pipelines. Okay. אוקיי, okay, uh, let me translate. בעצם מה שהם אומרים, אני אעשה רגע שיתוף למסך שלי. אם אתם רואים ביוניטי החדש, 2019, יש מה שנקרא יוניטי אב. יוניטי אב בעצם מאפשר לכם, אם תשימו לב, רק אני אראה שזה ייפתח, הוא מאפשר לכם uh, לראות הרבה מאוד פרויקטים uh, שיכולים לעזור לכם. בעצם זה, יוניטי אב. אתם רואים הדבר הזה? אוקיי, okay, יוניטי אב, פה יש לכם גם learn, יש לכם פה הרבה מאוד פרויקטים שאתם יכולים לראות ואז לשלב בפרויקט שלכם. אז בעצם בגרסה החדשה של יוניטי, תורידו אותה את 2019, ואז תוכלו באמת להיכנס לכל הדברים האלה ולהיעזר בהם. ולגבי המולטיפלייר, אז כמו שאמרנו, כל הסרטונים שאתם רואים על מולטיפלייר ביוטיוב הם כבר לא מעודכנים. כי בגרסה החדשה הם בעצם עושים כמה דברים חדשים, אז... Uh, תיכנסו, אני אשים לכם גם בפורום קישור שבו יהיה איזשהו פרויקט לדוגמה על מולטיפלייר, uh, ואז תוכלו להיעזר בו. אוקיי, okay. אז uh, תודה רבה, אורי. אני יכול לשאול שאלה אחת? אני יכול לשאול אם זה קצר, קצר, כי אני רוצה שכולם יצטרפו. אוקיי. אני ניסיתי להשתמש בשטר גרף, ובאמת זה רק HDRP ולייטווייט רנדר פייפליין. Yes. Is this going to come out soon for the regular render pipeline? From what I'm aware of, no. From what I'm aware of, we're just sticking it to lightweight and HDRP more because um, HDRP is graphic intensive. So, or graphic, uh, yeah, graphic intensive, which means that we're wanting to stick shader graph to uh, HDRP. And then lightweight, we basically created a more optimal version. From what I'm aware of, we're just sticking it to those two pipelines right now. Um, I don't know anything about the future though. Yeah, and the, the main thing to mind is that with Lightweight, you only get one render pass, I believe, right. um, which essentially changes the way that most shaders function. So most shaders that you're using will use maybe two on average, three if it's an intense shader. Um, whereas with the old system that we're eventually hoping to fix out, mm -hmm. um, we're trying to go either towards that one more render pass or the render pass you need for HDRP. Right. Right. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for Ori. As they want to share because we have a lot of uh, pupils and I want that everyone yeah. will uh, pass. Can we add my number to Lecha? And I want to share with you before. Yeah, but before I share, there are two cafeterias that I tried to activate them and they don't work. So I'm going to try to work with them. Maybe in the end we'll work together. Even if we don't work together, we'll do something together. 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 We'll do something together.
Ah, 16, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is a strategy in game that we do it with a Google login. So it's a, it's like a fan wheel. They need to build the buildings and then they can upgrade them and destroy them. We also implement uh, the Unity store with the ads and with the uh, things that uh, they can uh, buy when they you should uh, export it to, uh, to Android. Okay. Oh, nice. And then all this uh, will work. Nice. So did okay. the, uh, the in-app purchases resolve? What? I didn't understand. So is it hooked up to the in-app purchases? Uh, I didn't understand uh, what you said. Uh, In-app purchases? Yeah. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, this is an emulator Android. Shachar, can you uh, open the emulator and then we see it uh, on Android? Okay. You export the game to Android. Ah, another game. Okay. <laughs> Shachar is another game. This is a virtual reality that he created. Much reality. Oh, nice. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the player should uh, collect all the coins and then uh, he come to the end of the maze. Yeah. And it should work uh, also with uh, Android and with the virtual reality glasses. Amazing. Cool. Okay, Shahar, do you want to add something else? אוקיי, שחר, אתה יכול, אתה רוצה להראות לנו עוד משחק? אני רואה שבינתיים הנוקס עולה, לא נורא, אם הוא לא עולה, לא נורא, יש לך עוד משחק שאתה רוצה להראות לנו? נכון, היה את זה ואת זה, וגם השלישי. אוקיי, and this is the final game. אתה יכול להראות את משחק הריצה שעשית באמת, זה גם נחמד, תראה רק את המסך של המשחק, את הגיים, אוקיי. תפעיל מהמסך הקודם. Not working? Okay, no more. That's fine. That's okay, fine. this is uh, still work on it. It's okay. That's fine. <laughs> okay, and you want to see the game? Okay, and this is the strategy game that they uh, open with the Android emulator. So now the Google uh, should work, and uh, you can sign with the uh, Google. Okay, login failed. Okay, it's a technical problem, but it should work. <laughs> there is also a leaderboard, an achievement. It's a very complicated uh, game. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I, I, like, I know that's fine. It's totally fine. Like, because this can be quite complicated as well to do. So the fact that you're, you're, you know, you're attempting it and, and stuff like that is enough in itself to be, to wow us, really. Um, this is really nice. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, for this game specifically, I like the aesthetic. Um, 
So from the looks of it, you're using um, low poly as well as uh, high poly models from the looks of it. Um, so I would definitely, what I would do is I would kind of choose a theme. So whether you want to be like low polygon or high polygon, so like uh, intense high, high polygon graphics or low polygon, um, it might be better and more optimal to use the uh, low polygon style, which is what you're using for your trees. Um, Cause that might be a bit more optimal. Um, but other than that, like very impressive actually, very impressive. אוקיי, תודה רבה. אוקיי, שחר, אני אביא לטעם סטייט. שחר בעצם הוא מדבר בעיקר על העניין של העיצוב. קודם כל הוא אומר שהמשחק מאוד מרשים. אוקיי, אה, this is unity ads, אוקיי, עיצובים בלתי, אוקיי, נייס. הוא אומר שהמשחק מאוד מרשים, ולגבי העיצוב הוא אומר שאולי לבחור ככה דברים שמבנים יותר מוצבים בצורה של לואו פולי, כאילו פחות, עם פחות גרפיקה, כאילו לבחור איזשהו משהו ספציפי וככה להמשיך איתו. אוקיי, יפה מאוד שחר, אז בואו נמשיך עכשיו לתלמיד הבא. אוקיי, we want to be now, רועי. רועי, אתה רוצה לעשות שיתוף? רגע, I will stop it. אוקיי. או רועי, או ליעד, מי שכאן, רועי, אוקיי. אז זה המוד הרגיל. אוקיי, בוא נראה. How old are you, רועי? 11. 11? אוקיי, רועי זה 11 years old. אוקיי. אוקיי, בוא תפעיל את המשחק, תראה להם ככה את המוד הזה שעשית. זה הראשון, מה שעשינו. אוקיי, בוא נראה. He also created the character in a blender, an old animation with the blender. Yeah, I like the jump animation. So, I have to see it now, Omer. And also they need to collect all the coins, and the enemy are the red balls. Okay, and when the time is uh, over, this is the ice course. Hey, Sarah, hey. And now we work in a new one. Okay, let me I'll show it. Second so play, okay. אוקיי, זה כאילו אמור להיות... אפשר מפה גדולה שאני אעשה, ואז אני אחווה בפני כל מיני מטבעות, ויצטרכו למצוא. אוקיי. אני רוצה להגיד כל הקוינס, והקרקטר של להגיד אותם. אוקיי. זה יהיה בפרופר. אוקיי, נייס. אוקיי, יפה מאוד, רועי. אוקיי, okay. ורועי רק שים לב, אחר כך תגדיר בבילד סטינגס את כל המסכים, נראה לי שזאת הייתה הבעיה שלך, מה ש... שזה לא עבר לך בין מסכים. אוקיי, okay. you want to say something about the game? Yeah, really, really good, really, really good. Um, so my first, um, so about for this level in particular, um, what I would do is increase the player speed, because at the moment it seems like the character is a bit too big, which means that the character is moving, and animating but not moving as far as you would expect so you would want to either decrease the character size or increase the character's speed this one's this one's perfect um and um, because the character runs at a good pace uh jumps you know at a decent height um what i would do is also add a little bit of definition in your environment or your terrain so at the moment you're using a uh a grass material all the way through so what I would do is um, either mess around with some lighting like I mentioned earlier so changing the sky um, 
and also kind of adding some different layers in your materials for your terrain. Um, I like what they've done with, uh, that, I think that's water or, is, or um, something like that. Um, so for me, artistically, I would just add a little bit more definition in the terrain, uh, maybe add some textures to the character, um, and also maybe mess around with some lighting. Um, so on the asset store, we have um, skyboxes, which allow you to change how the sky is being, uh, what the sky is basically. Um, so rather than using the default one, which is the, the basic blue to white to gray, um, change that up a little bit, change some colors, um, and maybe to add some lighting as well. Other than that, yeah? Um, yeah, I think it looks good. Um... I really like they're using nav meshes already. Um, nav meshes is usually something that people get on too much late during in development, so the fact you're doing it now is great. It's really good. Yeah. Um, I'd also say maybe, so you have your player running around right now, um, but having more mechanics, so things like crouching or shooting the enemy, something that gives you um, some chance to fight back. Um, I also noticed that you have your coins. Do, do those coins spawn at the start of the level? I'll show you how you can see the coins that are coming from the top or that are always in the same place. Yeah, the coins are falling from the sky. Oh, cool. Um, so, so what you can do is, I can see right now that all happens at the start. So if you want to add some, I guess, some more potential like afterplay, you can have that same script where you're spawning in these uh, these coins and put that in your update function and then have a timer that calls it every hmm. 20 seconds. So then you get a new coin dropping every now and then. So it adds a little bit more replayability. As more coins come in, you can have more enemies come in and you know, add more danger to the game. Yeah. אוקיי, okay, thank you. So, בעצם מה שהם אומרים, אתה יכול להשתמש בפונקציה של לנבוק ריפיטינג וכל כמה שניות, בעצם להפ... פתאום לשים מטבע במקום אחר, אויב במקום אחר, ואז ככה יוסיף עוד עניין למשחק. ולגבי העיצוב, בעצם הוא אמר שאפשר להוריד מאסט סטור כל מיני דברים של סקייבוקס, ואז אתה יכול לעשות איזושה... איזשהו רקע ככה מסביב שיהיה יותר יפה, והוא גם ממליץ לך להק... להקטין את הדמות קצת, כי הוא אומר שהיא יותר מדי גדולה, ואז זה, זה נראה שהיא הולכת מהר מדי. או להקטין אותה או פשוט להגדיל את כל הטרן יותר. יפה מאוד, אבל הם מאוד אהבו את המשחק. היא גדולה, בואו נקטין אותה, הנה, פה היא ענקית. כן, תקטין אותה, כי היא באמת גדולה, אז תקטין את הדמות פשוט. הנה, פה היא ענקית. Yeah, the character is very big, so you should decrease it. אוקיי, יפה, תודה רבה רועי, thank you רועי. אז who want to be the next, ליעד? כן, אז אתה יכול בסוף לעזור לי רק להגדיר את ה... כן, בסוף אחרי שכולם ילכו אני ככה אנסה להסתכל על הבעיות. כן, כן, אין בעיה. אוקיי, now we are in ליעד. אוקיי. ליעד, אהוב. אני אדבר בעברית אבל בסדר. כן, וכמה אתה רק תגיד להם? 11. אוקיי, 11 years old, ליעד. אז זה האפליקציה שבניתי לבית ספר, אז יש לנו כאן את הכיתה. הגדלים לא הכי מתאימים לקנבוס בגלל שזה מותאם לאנטרואים. אוקיי, אין בעיה. It's a application that you made for a school, and it should be, it should work on Android. אוקיי. אז כאן בעצם רשום השיעורי בית שכל היום מתעדכנים. כאן זה כפתור שהם מעביר אותך לצ'אט, שכל הכיתה יכולה להתכתב בו. Okay. ואני גם מתכנן להוסיף כפתור למשימות, שאפשר לרשום בזה כל מיני משימות, וגם כפתור לגלריה תמונות. Mm-hmm. ו... וכאן גם יש... זה שיש רק לעורך, שהוא יכול לערוך את השיעורי בית. אפשר לחזור חזרה להתחברות, יש כאן חידון שעדיין לא בניתי, וכאן יש את הכיתה, שזה מה שהראיתי עכשיו. Okay. כאן בעצם עורכים את השיעורי בית, רושמים כאן את השיעורי בית, לוחסים את הדוקטור הזה וזה, רושם את זה בכיתה. פה, זה הצ'אט שהוא גם עדיין לא עובד, והנה, וזה ההתחברות. אוקיי, אז כל פיובי שולד אנטר איזה פסוורד ואנטר את האפליקציה, ואז אתם יכולים לראות את המשחק שהמשחק שלנו עובד. 
and you can also have a chat with uh, the other pupils. And uh, he's uh, still working on it, but uh, he all the time uh, put uh, more things. And everything is uh, saved on uh, JSON. Oh, nice. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, yeah, no, that's good. Um, how do you JSON format? What, what is the no. question? Um, what's like the formatting of your JSON? The format? Uh, so, what do you mean with the format? Like, do you have like an example of the JSON string? Ah, okay, תראה להם את ה-JSON, את הפורמט של JSON שעשית, את הקובץ. אה, את הקובץ. כאן יש את החלון של ה... ששומרים בו את ה... את הכאילו שה-JSON נשמר בו. אה, אוקיי. וכאן יש את ה... אה, אוקיי. You only in the start, yeah, he's still working on it. Now we only do the test, this one. That's good, that's good. Yeah. Same old yet. Okay, so we still work on it, uh, but when I finish it, we'll show everything. <laughs> okay, very good, Liad. Thank you. Thank you. Let's continue now. So who wants to see Liad? Who wants to see Liad? Who wants to see Liad? Yes, Liad. Yes, Liad. Yes, Liad. Okay, Liad, you can see Liad. Okay, Liad, you can see Liad. Okay, Liad, you can see Liad. כשכולם ילכו, אז יש לי עוד משהו שצריך אז רק טיפה. אוקיי, okay, נשתדל כמה דקות ככה שיהיה, אבל בואו ככה נראה שכולם מציגים קודם. אוקיי, okay, this is טל, טל, how old are you? טל, לא שומעים אותך, יכול להיות שהמיקרופון לא טוב. אוקיי, now we can't hear you. אוקיי, I think טל is also 11. אוקיי, let me see the game. Yeah, it's a tech a technical problem with the microphone. That's, that's totally fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Trust me, we get them all the time, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Problems all the time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we still uh, can't hear you. Uh, no, we can't hear you. Okay, never mind, you can uh, show us the game. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Great. So, this is the game I made. Uh -huh. These are the instructions for the game. Yeah, it's in Hebrew. <laughs> Tara, how okay. old are you? Start it. Uh, 12. 12. To start the game, we can press this button or this button, they're the same. Mm -hmm. This is the character selecting scenes. I yeah. can select any character I want. Knight, robot. Oh, nice. And uh, I can select how long it will take to the enemies to pop. Create. Then they can't uh, write letters or something. It's uh, not letting me. Uh huh. I can only write numbers. That's fine. <laughs> and um, if it, if um, there's no numbers, then uh, it won't let me start the game. Good. Okay. Nice. Now the character is selected. Mm -hmm. The world. Nice. So you got a custom skybox. Custom first. skybox. Yeah, I like that. That is my enemy. Uh huh. I can hit him. I have different uh, weapons. I have a knife. Yeah. A gun. And the sword. 
I can switch weapons with the shift key. Yeah. And if I die, <laughs> the dying scenes, yeah. he'll tell me what is my high score, highest score. And mm -hmm. This is the score I got. Yeah. If I die, I can start again. I can collect these coins. And if I have a, there is a shop, I made a shop. Okay. In here for the coins, I can press here and then I can't move, the camera can't rotate, the enemies can't uh, move, can catch me. Nice. And uh, here there is only one thing in the shop, but I will add uh, more things. Of course. I can buy here, I can see how much uh, mines mm. I have here. And I can't buy anymore. I can get out by pressing here. Again on the show button. Now when I right click, mines will appear on the ground here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if the monsters will stamp on the mines, they will die. Yeah. But if they will, would they, they will die. And uh, I've made a wall here, there's a lake, mountains, a forest, and this is the first player I made in Blender. I didn't have <laughs> much so I put him here. That's very good. It's very, yeah, very good. Very impressive. Like, that's a lot of mechanics in one game. That's a lot. Um, yeah, awesome job. Really, really great job. My, my one thing would be to increase your camera height. So at the moment, your camera is quite low on your characters, which can be um, a little bit difficult when navigating. Um, so if you were to just, because currently, if we were to imagine your characters here, your camera's like looking like, like that. You ideally want to have it a little bit above. That way you can kind of see in front of you and have a little bit of uh, better perception on your enemies. Um, other than that, I think that's all I've got to say. I think that's very, very good. Yeah, I mean, that's better than I could do with like 18. <laughs> yeah. So if you're doing that at 12, then that's very good. You have good feature in game development. You do. Um, so what I'd say as far as like mechanics go, so I noticed that when you uh, paused the game or you went into the shop, the world still moved around, the play was sort of hovering. So do you have like a variable that just stops their movement individually? I didn't. Uh, can you say it a bit slower? Yeah, so when you pause the game, do you have a variable on all of the characters that tells them to stop moving? When you open the game, how did you change the game that actually changes the characters? There's a Booliani variable that's um, in the shop script, and the, when I open the shop, it um, changes its value to true. And all the code, the monster, the player, and the Z, only works if it uh, equals to false. And when it's true, everything does shut, um, just stop. Okay, cool. So that's how, um, it's, so that, that's like the, the start of how to do it. So what you can do in Unity, you have something called game speed. And what that will let you do is still interact with the UI, so it, with the shop, but it will pause the entire game. So any sort of calculations being made in the background. So uh, let's say you have some AI pathing around, it will stop their ability to path for a little bit so they can't get like calculations ahead of where they should be. Um, yeah, if you look up game speed, it means that you don't have to do this for every single object. So it's much easier to manage, especially when you have like 50, 100 different enemies. Okay, let's say my mom says that she could actually game speed שאתה בעצם יכול לעצור איתה את כל המשחק בלי לעשות איזשהו uh, משהו בקוד. Uh, where we can see this uh, game speed? It's in the uh, Unity site? Yeah, if you just type in Unity game speeds, it should come up in the documentation. Okay. okay yeah, so... really, really good job. Mm, yeah, I didn't know about it. Okay, we put them a uh, link to the game speed. Yeah, very good. So they like your, they like your game very much. We're going to play the game. Okay. Thank you. Good luck about that. Very good. אוקיי, okay. וגם הם אמרו, הוא אמר שבגיל 18 הוא עשה משחק כזה, לא בגיל 12. <laughs> יפה. אז בואו נמשיך עכשיו, ובואו נראה עוד משחקים. אז אני רואה שאורי, אורי, לא, אורי, 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 נכון, כן, אורי, בוא תראה את זה, אחר כך גם ליאור. 
אוקיי, אורי, בוא תראה לנו את המשחק. ואורי, בן כמה אתה? How old are you? אוקיי, תן קיום, בעצם אומרים לך להשתמש במערכת גרידים, צריך גם לבדוק עליה שבעצם כל פעם שאתה בונה קובייה, הקובייה הבאה שתעשה היא לא תיכנס לתוך הקובייה שכבר בנית, אלא תהיה מעליה. צריך לבדוק איך לעשות את זה, אומרים שיש שיטות עם גריד ועם X ו-Y, ואז בעצם כל פעם שאתה בונה משהו, הוא יהיה מעל השני. ולגבי עיצוב, הם אמרו פשוט להשתמש ברקעים שונים, שכל פעם שאתה הולך קדימה, יראו שאתה הולך קדימה ולא, ושהרקע לא יהיה אותו רקע כל הזמן. זה בעצם ההצעות שלהם. 
אוקיי, יפה מאוד. בסדר, באמת, כל הדברים האלה, השיעור הוא מוקלט, ואחר כך נעבור על מה שהם אמרו, ואני ככה אשים לכם כישורים לדברים ש... אגב, עוד משחק, אז להראות אותו? אוקיי, נכון. יהיה איזה נאדר גיים. אגב, I uploaded to each, but there is a work less good from that. אוקיי, אתה יכול להראות מהתוכנה שלך. זה אני פשוט אראה מפה. כן, אחר כך אני אעלה את ההקלטה של השיעור לאתר שלנו. So here I would play more too, but uh, here it's read comments, by the way. And comments. And you can do things with it, like uh, with flash. That's not working. Uh, wait. No. Okay, no, no. אה, זה מה ש... זה מה ש... הוא פיתח את הפורטנייט הבא. כן, זה מה שראינו בשיעור, נכון? The point here is to get so many coins you can in less time and not die from the enemies. Now it's only enemies like that, but every time there is a more difficult, every uh, some seconds, uh, there is meteors and supply drops and you can get from them uh, mines you can plan. And uh, if an uh, enemy touch a mine, That's um, every level it's like uh, I think um, now there is a come for me and now I think there is supply drops that now we need to fall and in there you can uh, get more HP hearts in it. Here we go. You can, you get here random. You can get coins or hearts or mines. And the mines you plan with R, that's the uh, set the mine where you are. And uh, the coins uh, spawn randomly. Nice. And if you nice. die, you have the score here. You can enter your name. That's here. If you die too, you can uh, see that they stay like that. And now I know in the high score because I know get any score. But... Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so I'm alright. Okay, thank you, Ori. אורי, אז אוקיי, we have another uh, last one, ליאור, I want to throw it game. אוקיי, ליאור, בוא תראה לנו. שלום, אבל אני יכולה לדבר בעברית? כן, רק תגיד בן כמה אתה? אני 11 שנים אוהב. אוקיי. אז רואים אותי? לא, עדיין לא רואים. אוקיי. אז זה המשחק, כדי להתחיל צריך ללחוץ פה. אם יש לי פה דמות, אני יכול ללכת, לרוץ, לקפוץ. אני יכול גם לראות, ויש גם סאונד. המטרה שלי היא להשיג כמה שיותר 
נקודות, ואת הנקודות אני משיג בעזרת המדברות. כל מטבע נותן לי מאה נקודות, ואסור שהאויבים יהרגו אותי, ואני יכול להרוג אותם כשאני אראה אותם, יש לי גם זמן, ו... והנה אני אגיד, אני מנסה להראות, הנה הרגתי כמה וזה עשה סאונד אחר, גם בפירמידה הזאת יש uh, מטבע של עוד עשר שניות לזמן, אז זה מוסיף לי עוד זמן לעשות mm. כמה שיותר, להשיג uh, מטבעות. Um, ואז uh, בסוף, כשאויב uh, uh, או משהו פוגע בך, אז uh, זה אומר כמה השגת ומה עשי שלך. אוקיי, very nice. אוקיי, okay, also the, there is a character that he uh, did in a blender, and uh, he need to collect all the coins, and uh, there is coins that if he get them, he uh, give, uh, give them uh, more time. And then, uh, the, in the end, uh, there is the best score, and your score. Yeah, very good. Okay, you want to... <laughs> okay, you have any advice for Lior? So, um, I think... Again, the skybox, just make sure that uh, we want to change the skybox, change up a little bit. Um, make sure that your game looks unique as well, um, I think. Um, the model was very good, the enemies were very good, the coins are very good. Um, yeah, aesthetically for me, maybe just um, maybe apply some textures to those materials. So right now those materials are solid colors, so like uh, red, white, rainbow. Um, so uh, maybe add in some textures. Um, maybe some obstacles in the way as, in the way as well so we've got this pyramid so far um, maybe you know adding some obstacles and maybe some different levels for you to jump on throughout the level as well just to kind of um, you know diversify it rather than just uh, a plane um, and also the ability to stop the Uh, players from falling off that plane as well that playable area so by adding like a, a blocking volume or something like that maybe uh, a box with uh, the mesh turn off with simply the box collider um, just to stop the enemy from or the player from being able to run off so yeah no it was really good um, I'm very impressed with like what everyone's made yeah, yeah. Like, especially <laughs> the such game games it's yeah very impressive okay um, I'd say one good thing to do is to have a play around with different types of enemy destruction because destroying things tends to be the most fun way to learn. So what you can do is, you know, for like your player there, maybe have some area of effect ability. So maybe your character like smashes their arm into the ground and it puts bullets like all around them. Or I don't know, maybe like big guns that, you know, uh, do bombs which have smaller, smaller um, explosives. Something that you can sort of feel a result from. So the way I like to learn game development is by blowing things up or try, trying to have fun with mechanics where, where you have like that, that juiciness that you can play. So like the, the most fun part of any game is you know, to play around with the mechanics. So try and make something juicy, have like those sound effects come in yeah. uh, and just have fun with it. Just enjoy trying out different things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. הם בעצם נותנים לך עצות לגבי עיצוב, הוא אמר גם לעשות אולי סקייבוק, שככה העיצוב יהיה יותר יפה, גם לעשות גבולות כדי שהאויבים לא יפלו מחוץ לקרקע, ולעשות כל מיני אפקטים אולי, ככה אפקט של אם אתה נופל פתאום שקורה משהו, בעיקר דברים כאלה עיצובים. אבל מאוד גם התרשמו מהמשחק. יפה מאוד. אוקיי. אבל יש לי שאלה, אמרת ש... אתה תייצא את המשחק שלי? ואני שלחתי לך כי אני לא הצלחתי להציע את זה. זהו, שמת לי אותו בתיקייה, אבל נראה לי שהוא לא עלה עד הסוף. אני ניסיתי להוריד אותו וזה לא עלה לי עד הסוף. תנסה לי את זה. לי זה הראש הזה, 100%. זה עלה 100%, אני אנסה שוב, אני אבדוק את זה כי הוא לא נתן לי, אבל אני אנסה שוב, ומקסימום אני אכתוב לך במייל. איך הם קוראים לזה של השמיים? סקייבוקס. I will put all the things in our site so you can follow it. You, you, do you have uh, more uh, five minutes because they want to show you yeah. uh, your games? Yeah, please do. Okay. And, um, what we will do afterwards as well yeah, is... Yeah, I'm going to have to talk. Oh, sorry. Um, anything that we've mentioned, such as like documentation or Skybox, we'll send an email to you afterwards with all those links. Ah, okay. Um, that may be able to help you out, like asset store stuff to, to download, the FPS sample, GitHub link, stuff like that. We'll do that. Okay. 
אה, אוקיי, thank you very much, אוקיי, הם באמת, הם ישלחו לנו הרבה מאוד דברים, אחר כך שנוכל להשתמש בזה. אוקיי, so Rani, Rani and Tal want to show you another game, אוקיי? Yes, of course. Let's do it quick. With this, Rani, אוקיי, this is Rani game. אני מדבר בעברית, גבריאל. אוקיי. אני בן 12. Rani is 12 years old. אוקיי. Um, uh, I play, I can run and walk, I, uh, I don't can touch in, touch zombies, mm-hmm. and I, uh... Yeah, it looks like you got some good mechanics down here. Yeah. I can to shot mm-hmm. and kill zombies. Nice. And uh, take coins. A lot of zombies. <laughs> a lot of zombies. <laughs> okay, he want to throw another game? Okay. Uh-huh. It's a um, uh, play. I don't can touch a red ball. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, this play is uh, have two levels mm-hmm. and uh, I... Uh, If I, uh, the, the level two is, uh, don't, I don't can touch lava mm-hmm. and, uh, I don't can touch in the surf. If I, uh, Touch Laba dad. Yeah. Great, nice, good job. Very, very good. Um, so for your first level, the one with the tunnel, what I would recommend you do is um, mess around with what's called static and non-static objects. So static objects um, are basically um, Uh, cubes or anything in the scene that we know is not going to move which means that unity can generate lighting and um, so if you've got that tunnel for example you'd want that tunnel to be like really dark you know it would add to that whole you know zombie idea and um, so if you set that tunnel to static which you can do by going to the top of your inspector and uh, clicking the static button um, and then when you generate lighting again you Um, you can do this by going to window rendering lighting and then generating lighting what will happen is unity will make sure that that tunnel is dark then you can add some like light in there maybe add some lights to the zombies to make them green um, just to kind of make it more scary um, and then for this level with your lava what I advise you do is um, rather than like have a little look at what's called shuriken uh, which is our particle effect system and So you know right now you have uh, images of lava what you can do is actually add some particles to those images to I don't know add some flames to them or some embers or more particles emitting off just to make it really obvious where this lava is and um, add a little bit more to the uh, aesthetic of the game Thank you we met not a tip mode the man and she loved that you love the same be static is a man be we need a time in a rush and have as well she very good shadow sin a good to run he tear about or to write it my kid but to come in a right he dashes them in a love it that says a street my daughter to rush is he right or if a him at a bachot so him at a bit for him as then I said that about as a hug a honey I'm glad that you love a salmon be we may static at a very male that way I can just stop it 
נחכה לך לדבר בטיונל, אנחנו נבדוק את זה. Where I can... תלחץ נגיד על המנהרה שלך, תראה אם יש לך, אמור להיות לך סטטיק שם מצד ימין. Where is the static that you... It's the top right, so top right of your indicator. Is that ticked? Is that box ticked? Here, you see a static on the right. Yes, yes to all children. And then if you go to window... Now you go to the window, on the right. Where is the window? Ah, here, okay. Yeah, and then rendering. Rendering. יש פה, ואז יש פה לייטינג. Yeah, lighting settings. Yeah. Um, and then you want to make sure that where it says real-time lighting, you have that checked, and baked global illumination is unchecked. So it's halfway down. הנה, כאן להוריד את ה-V. Yeah. And you want to make sure that real-time global illumination is checked. Where real-time... Just above. Ah, okay, real time, let's amend the BV. Yep. Um, and then that should work. So you should be able to, if you make sure the auto generate is set to off, so right down the bottom it says auto generate. What that will do is every time you make an edit, it will auto generate, which is okay, but it's not good if you're wanting to change things all the time. Um, so by making sure that that auto generate button is um, not checked, it means you will just manually hit generate lighting um, Uh, every time you want to rebake that lighting. Um, I'll send you some documentation afterwards um, just to explain how that works, because that's, that's how you're able to get like dark tunnels and dark interiors of um, mm -hmm. levels. Um, I'll make sure to send that as a link afterwards as well. Yeah. Okay, thank you. We'll send you later the homer on this. It's really things that can be interesting. אבל איפה אני, זהו, אני עושה איקס פה. כן, אתה עושה איקס, אבל אחר כך אני אבדוק שוב מה שהוא ישלח לי ונראה אם יש עוד תוספות, אז אני אגיד לך. טוב, אז בוא נצא. כן, האמת שכבר זה נראה יותר טוב. רגע, איך הוא אמר שעושים את זה של המנהרה, תאורה? הוא סימן את זה, את המנהרה בסטטיק ב-V, ואחר כך ב-Window Lighting גם סימנו משהו, אבל אני אחכה שהוא ישלח לי את זה מסודר, ואני אעשה לכם משהו מסודר כזה. כן, אני אעשה משהו מסודר שיופיע לכם הכל כמו שצריך. איפה אבל מסמנים את הסטטיק? מצד ימין, איפה שהיה סטטיק, הוא סימן את זה שמה, אתה רואה פה בדבר הזה, פה, אבל מצד ימין כאן, על האובייקט. אבל עזוב, אני אעשה לכם את זה מסודר, ואנחנו נדבר על זה ב... ואני אשלח לכם את זה לאתר. אוקיי. Um, otherwise, if your materials aren't double-sided, then Unity is just going to treat it as a hollow object. Um, so you can do that by going to your material of that object, and there'll be a thing that says uh, double-sided, just make sure that's ticked. Um, and then it'll be, you'll, ha you'll see the material from both sides of the geometry. Um, then it will help to create that um, uh, dark interior tunnel as well. Mm -hmm. I'll set that over. Okay, I'll show you something. האם כולם הראו את המשחקים? טל רוצה עוד משחק אחרון? אוקיי, טל, אתה יכול להראות את המשחק שלך, ונראה לי שאחרי זה כולם כבר הראו. אה, ואיתמר גם נכנסת, אתה גם יכול להראות אם נכנסת. אוקיי, טל, אתה יכול להראות את המשחק, בוא נעשה את זה זריז. טל ואיתמר עוד. רגע, זה המשחק שראינו כבר, לא? טל, I think we saw this game. טל. טל, I think we already saw this game. אוקיי. So, איתמר, איתמר, אתה רוצה להראות? אתה היחיד שעוד לא שיתף. כן, נראה לי. רגע, לדבר באנגלית? אם אתה יודע אנגלית, אתה יכול לדבר באנגלית. אוקיי, אז איתמר הוא האחרון. איתמר, איך אתה? אני רוצה לבדוק אם בכלל שם. דלת סיטי. אוקיי, אז אני רוצה לדבר באנגלית. אני רוצה לדבר באנגלית. דלת סיטי. אוקיי, אז אני רוצה לדבר באנגלית. 
Um, that my game, I can um, sign in with a Google account. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I also have a, a leaderboard. and achievements. In <laughs> uh, the game, I can um, build uh, some buildings. I can place them in the grasses. And the buildings um, add uh, resources. but with them I can uh, build more and I can up, upgrade the buildings, add me more. Uh, and I also have a shop. Um, I can, it was a little bit of a problem with it. קצת Yeah, the game is a little slow, I think it's And because... And when the... I build the houses... What? Yeah, the, there's a problem with the, with the internet. I don't mm. know what... Uh, That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry. Uh, And when I build uh, houses, it gives me um, points. And the little board and and the achievements I can uh, I did them all, but have achievements here oh, nice and yeah, I can. Uh, Okay, yeah, very nice. And I can upgrade them and... Well, I can always see empty it, then there's a few things that I want to do. Okay, he's still working on it, but... Uh, very good. Yeah, this is the game. <laughs> yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah, very good. good. It's good that you've integrated so many, you know, you've integrated like leaderboards and ISPs, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, very impressive. Very impressive. My one thing would just be to increase your resolution of your icons. Um, at the moment, they're a little bit blurry around the edges. Um, but if you were to increase the resolution on like your big icons like back to menu and word stone food and house, um, I mean, that's really good. Okay, very good, thank you. Uh, so I think we finish or uh, tell, uh, tell, okay, tell is another game that you really want to see us, okay, so. טל, זה לאסט גיי. זה נראה כמעט איזה דבר כמו המשחק של מישהו אחר. כן, גם של שחר, נכון. רגע, הם אמרו... הם אמרו קודם משהו לי, או שזה היה... כן, הם אמרו לך בעצם שתשפר רק את הגרפיקה של האייקונים, שהיא טיפה כזה בלורית, שרק טיפה תשפר את הגרפיקה שלה, וחוץ מזה אמרו שהמשחק ככה מאוד מרשים. אוקיי, סו... מה זאת אומרת? פשוט האייקונים, האייקונים של הגביע, כל הדברים האלה, אמרו לך פשוט לשפר את העיצוב שלהם. אוקיי, אז טל, אתה רוצה לראות אותנו שתיים דקות לאחרונה? ורואי, אחר כך אני גם אתן לך שיתוף עם הבעיה שהייתה לך. טל? כן, לא יודע אם יש להם זמן, אבל בואו נראה ככה ממש זריז זריז. 
Okay, this is the game of style. Mm -hmm. This is a um, VR game I made. Yeah. I have uh, VR glasses and uh, I wanted to, this is a bag with a camera, it's uh, only in the phone, it uh, doesn't like, uh, not like that. Yeah. It's only here. And um, I have uh, VR glasses and I discovered it's uh, not that easy to travel in VR worlds in places. Yeah. There's not um, the apps that let you do it. You can do it, but it's pretty hard. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanted to look not just on a video, so I, I wanted to be able to look all around. Yes. So, when um, I start making uh, making this app, now there is only this world, but there's going to be um, an opening scene where, where I can select uh, which world uh, do I want, or be real worlds. Jungles, forests, mm -hmm. words from inside games, like be inside the game. So um, I can just install it on my phone, select a world, and uh, I would be able to see it easy. Yeah, nice. great. Good work. So yeah, like um, so for VR, um, what's recommended? Um, most games in VR, I tend to do teleporting for navigation. Um, because what tends to happen when you're moving in VR space and your body's not moving in real life is you get a thing called motion sickness, um, which can be quite um, north, uh, uh, difficult for some people to understand. And it's difficult for people to kind of handle as well. So um, what you might want to do is introduce some teleporting. So being able to jump from one bit to another. Um, but uh, other than that, very, very good. Um, Trying to think of apps. Um, yeah, I mean, VR is not easy, so the fact that you're trying it right now is exactly that's great. It's... My advice as well is to look at what's called VRTK. Um, if you're struggling with uh, virtual reality, because like Liam said, it's a very difficult thing, so uh, very well done for start getting started. Um, they provide like uh, presets of VR uh, navigation and controllers, so if you wanted to, you can either use them or learn how they done it. Um, and maybe implement some ideas of your own as well. So I'll put, I'll make sure to uh, link that as well. Um, Thank you very much. So very good. Okay, so I need. I think we need to finish <laughs> because we are a lot of time. Uh, I hope maybe yeah, in the future you want. Just the same. But I wanted to show you something. Okay, so I'll show you. No, no, no. What is it? What is it? I wanted to show you the mix of the Skybox. אה, לא, אבל זה כרגע פחות, אין להם זמן כל כך לעזור לנו בדברים, אבל אני, אני אשים מדריכים על הכל. They will uh, send me all the things that uh, we speak yeah. about them, so uh, uh, after this I will send you in the mail and everything, okay? Uh, but uh, we need to finish because it's very uh, late now. Uh, so thank you very, very much. כן, יונתן? מה יונתן? אני יכול גם להראות משהו? משהו כאילו ממש זריז? כן, ממש זריז. אוקיי, יונתן, want to show us רגע, מתי מתחיל הקורס השישי? בקיץ, בחופשת הקיץ נתחיל את הקורס השישי. אוקיי. מתי אפשר... אהההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה
um, something that you find challenging. Okay. So uh, thank you very, very much about your, for your time and everything. I hope maybe in the future we can do it again, if you like. Yeah, yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, thank you so much for showing us your games. It's very, like, it's very inspiring to see, you know, people, you know, as young as yourself, starting to do games development. Because if you think of what you're able to make now, think about what you're able to make in years and years and years after, you know, um, experience is pretty, it's going to be exciting. It's very yeah, exciting. Yeah. So, yeah. And do you like to work in Unity? You want uh, maybe they they want to work in the future in Unity? It's yeah. good. Yeah, yes. definitely. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. Uh, so yeah. great, great company culture. Great company culture, and like we're worldwide as well. So um, even if you don't end up working for Unity, uh, Unity programmers are very sought after, and they're very uh, valuable to a lot of games companies. So the fact that you know how to use Unity alone is going to get you. Um, you know, uh, in the right places at the right time to get a, a job in games design or games development. אוקיי, אז הם באמת אומרים שנורא נחמד ככה לעבוד ביוניטי, וגם שיש ביקוש נורא גדול למפתחי יוניטי. לא רק אם אתם עובדים ביוניטי, אלא בכלל אם יש לכם ידע ככה בפיתוח משחקים, זה יעזור לכם בהמשך. חייבים לסיים, אוקיי? בפעם הבאה שניפגש איתם, נראה את זה. יונתן, אוקיי, יונתן, אני רוצה לראות את הקרקטר. Okay, so thank you very much uh, for everyone. Uh, <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Okay, see you. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye-bye.